So I'm guessing you're a little freaked out about the economy right now. Yeah, I totally get it. It's nerve-wracking to watch your retirement account balances shrink and worry about job security. But here's the thing. It's not all doom and gloom. Recessions happen, and they're actually a necessary part of the economic cycle. Think of it like a roller coaster. You've got to have those dips to really appreciate the high points. It's just the way it goes. The good news is that history has shown us that what goes down eventually comes back up. It might be a bit of a bumpy ride, but we always recover. Plus, believe it or not, recessions can actually have some positive effects. For example, during a recession, you might have the opportunity to earn higher yields in your savings account, which is always a good thing. And if you're into the stock market, a recession could mean bargains and low-cost dividends. I understand that it might sound odd, but a recession isn't always a bad thing. So, while it's totally understandable to feel worried about the state of the economy, try to keep in mind that there are silver linings to be found. Speaking of silver linings, what are the benefits of a recession? When there are imbalances in the market, a recession can help to correct them and get things back on track. When things in the economy get a bit out of whack, for example, let's say that the housing market is super hot and everyone is buying up houses left and right. This can cause housing prices to skyrocket and people might start investing too much money in the housing market. This is a market imbalance. So how can a recession help fix this? Well, when a recession happens, people start to tighten their belts and spend less money. This can cause a downturn in the housing market and bring prices back down to a more reasonable level. Sure, it might be painful for some people who invested a lot of money in the housing market, but in the long run, it can actually be beneficial for the economy as a whole. One real-life example of this happened back in the early 1980s. The U.S. was dealing with high inflation rates, and the Federal Reserve responded by raising interest rates. This caused a recession, but it also helped to bring inflation rates down from 11% in 1979 to 5% by 1982. After that, the economy grew steadily for the next eight years. Another example of a market imbalance that a recession can help to fix is a dot-com bubble. In the late 1990s, everyone was investing in tech companies and the stock market was going crazy. But eventually, the bubble burst and the market crashed. It was painful for a lot of people, but it helped to bring the tech industry back down to earth and set the stage for future growth. The second reason why economic recessions are bad, not that bad, is that they can actually motivate us to save some money. You see, when an economy takes a downturn, the Federal Reserve often raises interest rates to help control inflation. This can actually work in our favor because it means savings accounts start to earn more interest. For example, in 2022, the Federal Reserve hiked interest rates by 75 basis points, which meant the federal funds rate rose to a range of 3.75% to 4% by November 2nd. So while the economy may be experiencing a rough patch, we can take advantage of the higher interest rates to earn some extra cash on our savings. This is especially true for other types of savings accounts, like certificates of deposit, CDs, and money market accounts, which may offer even higher rates than traditional savings accounts. And if you're tech-savvy, you might want to consider online savings accounts, which often offer the best terms. So why is this important? Well, higher savings account rates mean stable returns on our money, even when other types of investments may be subject to more risk during a recession. This makes it a great time to focus on building up your emergency fund. By having a cushion of cash on hand, you can be better prepared for unexpected expenses or even job loss. Plus, once the economy starts to recover, you can use the money you saved to invest in other opportunities. Maybe you want to take advantage of lower stock prices or invest in a new business venture. Either way, Having that extra cash on hand can give you the flexibility to take advantage of new opportunities as they arise. Another good thing about economic recessions is that it can actually be a pretty sweet time to find some deals in the market. I know it can be a pretty scary time for investors when the economy is in a slump. Watching your portfolio lose value is not exactly a good time, especially for those of us who are getting closer to retirement age. But before you panic, 
and start selling all your assets. Hear me out. Believe it or not, recessions can actually be a great opportunity to find undervalued assets and get in on some bargains. By keeping a long-term perspective and not giving in to the temptation to sell off everything, you can position yourself to come out on top when the economy inevitably bounces back. One strategy that can work well in a recession is to identify stocks of companies that you believe are resilient and have the potential to recover from any downturn. When the economy takes a hit, even good companies can see their stock prices drop. But this can be an opportunity to buy shares at a reduced price. By purchasing these undervalued assets, you can lower the average cost paid for your portfolio, which can set you up for extra gains when the stock recovers. Let me give you an example. Imagine you own shares in a company that you believe in, but the stock has lost value due to the recession. Instead of selling those shares, you could buy additional ones at a reduced price. This would bring down the overall cost per share that you paid for your position, making it easier for you to break even and eventually make some profits when the stock bounces back. Another benefit of a recession is that declining stock prices can actually increase the yield on dividends. When the price of a stock drops, its dividend yield goes up, which can generate higher returns for shareholders. But this is only true if the company is able to maintain its dividend payout during the recession. That's why it's important to do your research and find companies with a history of stable payouts and the capacity to weather the current downturn. For example, let's say you're looking at two stocks with the same dividend yield. One company has a long history of stable payouts and a strong balance sheet, while the other has a history of cutting dividends during tough times. In this scenario, it's clear that the first company is a safer bet for generating income during a recession. One other interesting silver lining here is that when the economy is in a downturn, lower interest rates could be on the horizon. Even though the start of a recession can often be accompanied by interest rate hikes, as the economy continues to struggle, policymakers will often lower interest rates in an effort to give it a boost. Now you might be thinking, wait, won't lower interest rates make my savings account less appealing? Well, yes, that's true. When interest rates are low, savings accounts won't generate as much return on your investment. But the good news is that there are other benefits to lower interest rates. For example, when the Federal Reserve lowers the Fed funds rate, it can also lead to lower mortgage rates. That means if you're thinking about buying a home, a lower interest rate environment during a recession could be a great time to take the leap. With lower mortgage rates, you might be able to afford a larger home or get a better deal on your monthly mortgage payments. Or maybe you're a small business owner who needs a loan to keep your company afloat during tough economic times. Lower interest rates could make it easier for you to get the funding you need without having to pay exorbitant interest fees. Recessions are tough, but they can have some silver linings if you're willing to think long term. Lower asset prices can create buying opportunities for investors, while interest rate changes can mean cheaper loans or higher savings account returns. But let's not forget, none of this makes up for the hardship of a recession.